Hi, darling. Hi. Yes. Yeah, no, I'm here at Cash Fish. It's amazing. Yeah, look, I swear I'm never going back to England again. No, this is amazing here. It's brilliant. It's lovely. Yeah, okay, darling, I've, I've got to go. Yeah, I've got to go. Yeah, I, I love you. No, 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 I love you more. No, 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 I love you more. No, no, you hang up. No, 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 you hang up. Yeah, he's hanging up. Naveen. Nick. Hi. Mwah, mwah. How are you doing? I'm so I'm good. Sit, 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 sit. Last time I saw you, remember? You were making out with your neighbor, remember? Yes. <laughs> Last time I saw you, you were making out with my neighbor's son. <laughs> Both of them. I actually forgot about that. <laughs> so, what brings you here? Uh, I'm actually here to meet my new boyfriend. Shut up. Yeah, no. what about you? Me too. I'm here to meet really? my new boyfriend. Excellent. But what happened to John, the, the British guy you were dating? I swear I am never going to date another British guy again. <laughs> you know these foreigners who come and live in India? It is such a cliche. Yeah, tell me about it. <laughs> and you know, he spent every day reading Shantaram. And now he says namaste to every single pigeon that he sees. <laughs> and he spends 9,000 rupees, 9,000 rupees on a toller of dried goat turd that somebody on Kalaba Causeway told him was hashish. <laughs> Honestly, Indian guys are much better and they make much better lovers. Are you kidding me? <laughs> I dated an Indian guy and in my personal opinion, I had a very average experience, if you know what I'm talking about. <laughs> and there's toilet paper in the bathroom, maybe use it for the right reason, right? And deodorant doesn't hurt either, I'm just saying. No, no, honestly, there is nothing special about being English anymore. You all won Wimbledon last year. No, 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 that's Andy Murray, he's Scottish, it doesn't count. <laughs> what about Harry Potter? Well, half the cast of Harry Potter is Scottish. All right, so uh, I'm confused now. Scotland is in England, right? I'm confused. UK, Great Britain, Scotland, England. Okay, let me explain it to you. Okay. The official title, the official title is the United Kingdom of nobody really knows or understands, and everyone pretends to understand so they don't look stupid, .co.uk forward slash Brexit question mark. Ah, it's just like Shakespeare and that traffic signal at LBS Marg. Ah, exactly. <laughs> But since you've come to India, don't you at least miss beef? Like juicy, tender, delicious beef. Come on. To be fair, since I have come to India, I have had my fair share of tenderloins, if you know what I mean. <laughs> but then you end up spending so much time in traffic, by the time you meet the guy, his loins are not tender anymore. True. And then there's pollution as well. Yeah, but oxygen is it's overrated. <laughs> Look, honestly, honestly, being English is nothing special anymore. You'll have James Bond, you'll have Daniel Craig, you'll have The Queen, you'll have Oxford Street, come on. You've got Uday Chopra, Raki Sarant, and uh, Saki Naka. Brilliant. Man, that combination wants, me, wants to make me get out of this continent right away, like Brexit the fuck out of here. Look, do not make a Brexit joke, okay? I can make a Brexit joke, I understand Brexit. You don't understand Brexit, I don't make a Brexit joke because you don't understand Brexit. All right? Hold on a second. Mm -hmm. I can do a Brexit joke if I wanted to because you guys basically screwed the whole world. Now everybody else has to pay, right? Section 377, who gave it to us? Not us, y'all. Now we have to suffer, right? Section 377. Yes. So now the English are the bad guys. Is that what you're saying? I don't know about bad guys, but you all did rule over us for 200 years and still had the balls to steal the Kohinoor from us. But do you know what you stole from us? What? Katrina Kef. What? <laughs> Wait, hold on, hold on. Katrina came from Britain. I thought she came from Salman. Look, at least we don't have to rely on other people to make us famous. We are naturally gifted. Oh, naturally gifted, is it? Is that why nature keeps gifting you all brain 24-7? Is that why? At least we don't have to carry an umbrella everywhere we go. Well, at least it's not so hot in England. You know, when it gets to 17 degrees, all the British people run outside to get a tan, all the Indian people run inside to get earmuffs. You know what's hot in England? 
your football fans, those aggressive assholes, no. boisterous pieces of shit. No, no, my past as an aggressive football fan is the only thing which now enables me to get off a local train at Gulla Station. <laughs> okay? And if you're talking about aggressive football fans, you guys lose your shit over cricket. And by the way, we invented cricket. Oh, oh. Invented cricket, is it? Mm -hmm. Well, clearly haven't thought of winning it in recent times, have you all? No. Okay, cool, cool. You all invented cricket. Fine. Thank you. Now, where is our thank you for giving you all the Kama Sutra? Again with the Kama Sutra. It's not like we use it all the time. Come on. You all were clearly using it while you were screwing the world in different directions. While colonizing everybody, you tea-drinking piece of shit. Did you just call me? a thieving, tea-drinking piece of shit. Exactly. You did not call me that. I did. You did not call me that. I did. I cannot remember my next line. <laughs> <laughs> what is it? Yes. Now I can remember. I'm so insulted. I'm so insulted. But yeah, you're calling me a tea-drinking piece of shit. You know, we left you roads. We left you a judiciary system. We left you sanitation. We left you everything. We left you trade. Broke. You left us broke. That's what you left us. And a billion poor in India. Look, that billion people living in India thing is a myth because we both know that half of them are living in Southall in London. <laughs> well, you know what London doesn't have? It doesn't have Taj Mahal, okay? Well, we've got Buckingham Palace. Kutub Minar. Stonehenge. Amitabh Bachchan. Shah Rukh Khan. No, that's yours. Yes, that's us. Shit. Stonehenge. We have Kutub Minar, as I said. We've got Stonehenge. We have Indira Gandhi. We've got Margaret Thatcher. Amitabh Bachchan. In the Kalenj. Shah Rukh Khan. Benedict Cumberbatch. Um, what about that woman, Mother Teresa? Princess Diana. Yo, yo, honey, sing, OK? <laughs> OK, OK, you win. OK, let's be friends. Okay, cool. Okay, we'll be friends. We'll make we'll out be friends. Yeah. Sure. yeah. And uh, actually, I shouldn't be making fun because, uh, you know, I told you, my new boyfriend is actually Indian. Typical. Mm. But I should not give you grief either because my new boyfriend is a British guy. Ah. <laughs> yeah, his, his name is uh, Richard. He's actually calling me right oh, now. Oh, mine's calling me now as well. Hold uh, on, yeah. Well, hello, darling. Yeah. Would you like some chai tea? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Ah, ah, Shashikant. Ah, hello, hello. <laughs> ah. Um, Aaj Raat, uh, Kama Sutra Chai Karte Hai. <laughs>